Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode. Not an episode, just a video. I've been recording so many things today. I don't know. Up is down, down is up, asses are green. Um, things are all fucked up over here. Fucking phone's blowing up. I'm trying to fucking do this shit. Not enough fucking time in the day. I'm just trying to fucking get along here, guys. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, and this, this is what I'm about to talk to you about. This video goes out to any creative types out there. If you're a writer, an artist, a musician, a filmmaker, whatever. Okay? And this goes double if you have children. Or goes double if you are, like, really close to your nieces and nephews. Okay? And you have, like, family that are much younger than you. This, this video is for you guys. Okay? I was thinking a lot about, like, I don't know if you saw the day in a life vlog I did the other day or the video I did on hitting the wall and all this other shit, but I was talking a lot about like my kid and the relationship I have with my kid and for, and I'm going to try not to get emotional here. Jesus fucking Christ. Like I start talking about my kid and it's just like fucking waterworks, dude. Okay. For a really long time, I was like a superhero to my kid. I could do no wrong, okay? And every kid goes through this where they think their parents are infallible, infallible. Did I say that word, fallible? Um, and they just think their parents are the greatest thing ever. Then it comes a moment where they think their parents are really lame. And then comes the moment where they fucking hate their parents and they would fucking kill them if they could. I never went through that one. I've kind of been stuck in the super fucking lame category for the last 10 years, um, which breaks my heart. But because um, I have always found myself so cool, you know, so coral. Yeah, that's a SpongeBob reference to a dad trying to be cool with his kid. Nailed it. Okay. So. One of the things about my relationship with my kid is even though I raised my kid on film sets and I raised my kid backstage at concerts, okay, even though all of this happened, we were on the road a lot, okay, with all of the shit, with all of me creating, I don't think my kid ever understood my art understood the insatiable urge I have to create. Like, it's not something that comes up in like conversation. Like, how did you do on your math test? Fine, dad. How's that insatiable urge to create? Like, it's not something that just flows naturally into a conversation. But since I have been I've kind of changed my focus of my channel to more like craft, more author tube than book tube, more poetic anarchy, all of this shit. I feel almost like I'm doing this for you guys who watch the videos and are in the fucking anarchy crew and all this other shit. But another thing came up and like this is almost like a video journal to my kid. Oh shit, I'm gonna fucking start bawling here in a minute. Whoo, damn. Cause there will come a day when I'm not here anymore. When I have left this earth and whatever the fuck happens next happens, okay? But as long as the, the power never goes off, and the grid doesn't go down, and Google doesn't get struck with fucking nuclear winter, all of this, all of these little moments, these little pearls of wisdom, my kid will be able to come back to and hear, and hopefully be able to understand like what was making me tick.
because even though I feel like I was the coolest dad in the fucking universe, I'm still nerdy dad. Oh yeah, nerdy dad writes books and makes movies and is in some stupid band that is not even as cool as I would like it to be and you know, the whole fucking thing. Really dude, I'm having a fucking moment right now. You know, years from now when I'm gone and years from now when my kids much older maybe have kids of their own and maybe not, they'll at least be able to watch back and just know a side of me that they never really understood before. So I just encourage all of you to think about what wisdom you can secretly pass on to those who come after you. Because we all know right now they don't want to fucking hear it, you know? Like the last thing they want to hear is advice from you. Just sneak it in here and hope that it hits one day, you know? Another reason why this came up is because um, my dad was a writer. Um, he wrote mainly fantasy and science fiction, a little bit of horror. Um, mainly short stories, a couple novels. Um, but was not successful. Was not a successful guy. And um, through me creating stuff, we never talked about the act of creation. We never talked about making of the art. That was never something that we ever spoke about. Um, the biggest compliment he ever gave me was he couldn't believe how I could take something so boring and mundane and turn it into an anxiety riddled horror story. Um, he thought that was amazing because he was always trying to come up with like these supernatural ways to make something happen. And I wrote a story about a guy sitting on a toilet and his leg fell asleep. And when he stood up, he broke his ankle and fell down. Um, and there was more suspense and terror in my story about the guy taking a shit than in my dad's story of like little monsters crawling up out of the carpet and getting somebody. But another thing with my dad was he was very jealous and he would always ask me to like hook him up with like publishers and agents and all this shit. And even when I was fucking hustling, most of the time I didn't have an agent. Um, I never really had a publisher. I had a, like a little, um, small, um, presses that put out my first couple books. But other than that, like I've always been me, you know? And, um, so he was always kind of mad, but then after he died, allegedly, I was talking to one of his friends that ran this magazine and he told me how like my dad was like the dad to all the staff writers like that he was always helping them with craft and form and all this shit and like teaching them better ways to do things and teaching them just anything and I was like what the fuck I'm like, are we talking about the same person? Because, like, me and my dad never had any of those conversations. Ever. Ever. But, like, to all of those other people, my dad was this great well of knowledge. But for whatever reason, my dad never imparted any of that shit onto me. So, I just was thinking, I'm like, shit, dude, if my dad had... Um, like a YouTube channel like back before he died like he could have fucking been spouting off all sorts of shit and so it just made me um, it just made me think you know like the people before me the people after me you know 
so anyway, um, just, just think about it. If you have a channel and what you mainly do on your channel is just like review books and stuff like that, that's cool too, you know, but if you are also creative, if you also do things that, you know, your kids see you doing, but it's like this big quiet thing. Like think about doing little videos and even just, even if you just do a few and make a little playlist, like to future generations and just talk about your creation, the, your process, that, that could be a really big, powerful thing. So whatever. I just thought I would share a little bit right there. Got all fucking weepy again. Whew. Okay. Let's have some more coffee and beer and I will, um, I don't know, talk to you guys later. Type hard everybody and bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.